So Microsoft just released brand new version of Windows 11 and let me sh just show you the version. So uh, WinR, let me show you guys. Right here, we are currently on the latest version, 22,132. So this is the latest version that Microsoft just released. And there are some exciting changes. For example, in Windows Insiders, they are introducing both the classic and snipping tool, uh, which are snip and sketch apps, will be replaced with a new snipping tool, tool app that represents the best experience of both apps. So this is brand new app that uh, just have been updated from Microsoft Store. So I will click on it and as you can see we have brand new snipping tool from Microsoft. So we have all these settings for rectangle, windowed mode, full screen mode and freeform mode. We have also, we can set some delay uh, on the screenshots and of course we can also uh, open the file and have some settings. So if I click right here, new one and as you can see this is quite nice UI from Microsoft and as you can see we can just screenshot this, um, this wallpaper for example and it looks quite nice. So the next thing that is quite nice is that for this snipping tool for Windows 11 includes new visuals that build off the classic app with added functionality like the Windows plus plus shift plus s keyboard shortcut from snip and sketch and richer editing so uh, they are also introducing a new settings page for windows snipping tool just as said as before here are brand new settings for this one um, or these brand new snipping tool app for windows 11 so we can also choose a light or dark theme so i think this is quite nice from microsoft on this brand new uh, windows uh, 11 uh, tool so Taking a screenshot is now super easy using Windows plus Shift plus S keyboard shortcut. Let me show you right now for how this works. So if we click Windows plus Shift plus S on keyboard. So Windows Shift plus S, it should take some screenshots on this uh, particular screen. So I think this is quite nice. And of course, all these settings that are existing from uh, previous versions of the snipping tool. So, uh, the snipping tools also provide some editing tools for uh, annotations, um, improved cropping and also more to edit your screenshots how you want. Uh, yeah, the snipping tool also has dark theme as seen here. Uh, this is the brand new dark theme. So if I switch to the, let's say for the, for the light theme, as you can see, I will just restart the app and open it into the light theme, it looks also quite nice. But my personal preference is also dark, so I will switch back to the dark theme for this video. So I will just restart it and as you can see, we are currently having the dark theme for this brand new tool. So also calculator also has brand new design, let me open it. And it also has uh, in dark theme, so it's quite nice. And Brand new, for, brand new look for Windows 11. It also includes a new app theme setting just like in the snipping tool. So we can just select it to the white theme. Um, uh, calculator, uh, calculator also has been rewritten re to the hashtag so that more people can contribute to, uh, to it to on GitHub. I think this is quite nice that the calculator has been rewritten in C hashtag. So the calculator app is also packed with some useful features, is the perfect tool to help us to complete your math homework, manage your finances and also plot and analyze equations on a graph and evaluate algebra, trigonometry and complex math expressions. So I think this is quite nice from the calculator. So also the some uh, mall, mail and cal calendar apps are also been updated but I didn't get this uh, update from the Microsoft Store yet so uh, we, we will need to wait for that. So for example at Mail, at Mail and ca Calendar app they uh, also added some new visual style and rounded corners with adjustments to make them look and feel as part of Windows 11. So as before Mail and Calendar can reflect your Windows theme so you can send emails and check your schedule using the theme you prefer. So for example this is the brand new uh, uh, mail app uh, in Windows 11 with dark mode and this is the with the light mode on. So this is a brand new update for these apps and I think this is quite nice 
but let me go right now to the Windows 11 changes right now. So they uh, also added some changes from the chat from Microsoft Teams, which is now available for Windows Insiders in the beta channel. I think this is quite nice that Microsoft is also running these updates uh, weekly so, and also to the beta, beta channel. I think this is also quite a right step to the right direction in my opinion. So if you go right here, we have a video call via chat from Microsoft Teams. This feature has been added, I think, uh, two weeks ago uh, to the dev channel, but now it's also available on the beta channel. And there have been also some fixes on the, this particular build on the Windows. So in the search, did some work to address a, a scenario where the recent searches list display when hovering over the search icon on the taskbar, which was unexpectedly blank. So, and they also fixed, uh, fixed some widgets and Windows sand sandbox. For example, on the screen in Windows sandbox, the taskbar or explorer access should no longer repeatedly crash inside of Windows 11 sandbox. And also they address some other uh, features uh, uh, issues with this Windows build. So I think that this has been it for this video. Thank you all for watching this one. Subscribe to the channel and like this video if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.